geez I really didn't think that uh, I would have so many uh, nine minute uh, videos uh, with all these presentations uh, sorry if it's taking that that long uh, but you know I had a few things to cover and uh, I want to show them so this one I want to do quickly because I want the rest of this nine minutes for the next one that I'm going to be showing you now this one here uh, I really want to show it again uh, and uh, you know emphasize that what you see is not re is not really the end result that, that I'm that I am looking at when I see this here with that LED lighting up uh, first of all when I put it here look at the brightness on that extremely bright but this is not the this is not the end of it with this one toroid I can have a coil here I can have a coil on this side I can have a coil underneath and then I can have it underneath on the other side and you're always getting the same amount so actually what you see here with this one coil lighting up this one LED you can have a minimum of four of these on that one coil now I've also found if I put it this way uh, this this by the way was at 97 uh, kilohertz now I can place that here and still have my LED light up but I found that at 500 megahertz uh, kilohertz sorry 500 kilohertz it's also working very very well and see here try and get this thing so that you can see it just turn it around like this turn it around like that so basically this what this is telling me is if I had six or eight of these coils here going all the way around this toroid would make this coil a toroid in its own right or you can maybe configure it into a Rodan coil but you know a round coil like this a Rodan coil like this with a bucking coil toroid in the middle pulsing that I would really really like to see that that would be some kind of OU uh, potential right there uh, just you know there's not much research done into this pulsing toroid here there, there must be ways that I can get you know better better core material better winding strategy for the bucking coil making it more energy efficient but we'll talk about energy efficient later on and I think in the next video or the video after that uh, so okay we're gonna cut this one out and we're gonna go to the next one okay we're back again yep this is a pretty big uh, mess that you're seeing right now uh, what I did was uh, I took my, one of these bills that I made a long time ago this is in the first times of the SM TPU I made this TPU type coil here this black one here and uh, so what I did was I loaded up a whole bunch of my previous coils on this thing and they're all lighting up they're all lighting up with the same pulse frequency uh, the same voltage 16.5 volts at 0.2 amps 10% uh, duty cycle I'm at 286 kilohertz and all of these coils are lighting up you have one here that's on this little transformer here this little coil here that I bought for like three bucks I got a whole bunch of these so I'm gonna be getting some more because I got a lot of stuff to do with this one you have one here you have one inside here which is the lit one you have one that's right here that's lit which is the small regular house cable one you have my yoke coils one here there's another one here in the back you have the FTPU LED that's right here they're all lit everything is lit plus you have this one here which I will be leaving here while I discuss this uh, this coil uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to remove these other ones I wanted to show you a whole bunch of LEDs around this thing being lit up with the same energy that I used to do all my previous uh, uh, presentations so you see all this here this I'm going to take off for now so that I can remove 
I want to remove these one by one and just lay them aside so that you can see my TPU build. Oh, this is really nice here. This one here is extremely bright. I could probably have a good 30 of these or 20 of these stacked up inside of here. Uh, but we'll take it out for now. We'll take out these yokes. These yokes. And we'll take this one off also. So here we have it. And I'll put this green wire back on here. Okay. Now the way this was the, constructed, there's a center core comprising this electrical wire here, this copper copper wire here, which is from electrical household wire. And it's about 30 turns inside horizontal, going all the way down on the inside of this. On the outside, I wound with this wire here, uh, four quadrants control coils. Right now, they're all put into series. The control coils are all in series. Now, on the outside, that's my TPU. Then afterwards, I added on this outer wind, okay, which is basically electric wire, two strand, two two wires wound up, coming down by filler, by filler in here. So I have only two wires here that are right here. These are the two wires for my outer coil only. This is all that's been pulsing up till now. Nothing was pulsing on the inside of my toroid. Just the outer coil was lighting up all those LEDs. Plus it was lighting up this LED right here. Which is pretty well lit. Now the funny thing about this LED is it's not connected in a closed circuit. This LED is connected. Let me take this off, put it out here. Put it back here. One side of the LED is connected to my center center horizontal wound. The other side of the LED is connected to just one side of the control coil. The control coils are all in series. So and the only thing being pulsed is this outside wind here, which is just a vertical, a horizontal wind by filler. Now, this light is lighting up, but there's no connection between this here and this here. This wire here is loose, and this wire here is loose. So this LED is in the middle of the inner horizontal and the outer vertical series control coil. It's in the middle of both of them, and it's being lit. Look at that. No other wire being connected. And everything is being done through this coil right here, which is going to be one point that I'm going to be uh, studying a little further and getting this to move along uh, in this direction here. Okay, so we'll leave this one. Hopefully, uh, I didn't go over my time here uh, to uh, cut this and uh, see how long, how much longer I have. So I'll stop it for a second and I'll be back.